Oh my god, what am I doing in creative? Well, normally when I'm in creative, it's off camera and I'm spawning stuff in for me. But we have a pollution problem, as we discovered at the end of the last episode. And when I say problem, it's not really a problem, but we do we do got to deal with the dust that is generated by, uh, by these crushing wheels. Because if we don't, then we're going to have explosion problems. And it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a pain in the ass having to rebuild it all the damn time. So uh, creative is just an easier way for me to explain what I have discovered um, in between episodes. I've done you know some experimenting to try to figure out how this mod works. And first thing, as I went over in the last episode, um, it's this crushing wheel controller that generates dust it's kind of weird i didn't know that this existed but you've got these two crushing wheels here and you'll see how there's like a there's a hit box on this crushing wheel and a hit box on this crushing wheel but then in between there's a crushing wheel controller this is what causes the dust to uh, be made if we throw cobble on top of it and it doesn't go in the wheel then there's no dust that is generated. But if we have a chute right here going into the wheel, then there is cobblestone in the crushing wheel. And even though it's not being crushed, it will generate dust as we showed. It would be nice if it just did it right now without... Yeah, there we go. See, we got, we got dust. And this dust is a problem because it is explosive. Now, I have found out what causes it to explode um and we'll get there in a second but even even then like it's not good to have these emissions just kind of you know accumulating on the ground because it's going to it's going to cause a lot of problems so how how do we deal with this how do we deal with this dust as it turns out in the mod itself there's really not a lot of really great options to get rid of the pollution i think the only thing is you can kind of make use of carbon emissions the uh the the black uh blocks or the dark gray blocks you can deal with these and get these out of your hair by um just like pumping it into a greenhouse and it lets uh crops grow faster and stuff we, we, we see that in, um, in my world with all the grass growing around my house. So you can get rid of the carbon, but the sulfur, the sulfur and the dust, um, I don't think there's a similar mechanic for that. I think the only two way there, there, well, I think there are two ways and the only two ways to get rid of them are with the vacuum which is kind of weird. So I guess if you if there's a whole if there's a big pollution cloud in the sky, you just go up and vacuum it, which is manual and gross. But you also have these filters as well. The way these filters work is you will have a pump at the an air pump at the bottom um, receiving redstone power, and then you'll put the filter on top of the pump, and then in the filter you will put um, one of these filter materials um in it's wool for sulfur no it's wool for carbon leaves for sulfur and paper for dust we're only going to be worrying about paper because dust is going to be the problem so we'll put paper up in here and then you'll see that the this pump sucks up the uh sucks up the dust and then once it receives eight six seven eight uh it becomes clay and it uses up the paper and you get a, a clay ball so the way that you automate this is i believe you can have like a hopper down at the bottom uh down here for instance and we'll just do one two three We'll vent it, fine. <laughs> We're not there yet, but uh, yeah, eight, and I believe, yeah. 
So if you put the hopper at the bottom of whatever chimney you have going, then it just it'll it'll suck out the clay. And then a hopper going into like the side of this for instance, and we'll just put like some paper in there and it'll feed it in like so. These filters are also supposed to work like within a, a certain radius um, based on if it's iron, gold, or diamond. I, I haven't I, I haven't been able to to see that to to be completely honest with you. Um, so I, I think I'm just gonna go with iron. I did try with a diamond and it did sometimes suck up items from over here. Okay, that just sucked up that from, what is, okay. Cringe. <laughs> but uh, you can use these vents as well as kind of just a, a fail safe, as you saw. Um, I think there is a limit to how far these vents can go out, but for instance, if I just put this dust on here, it should fall to the ground and get sucked in by the vent and then go over there. So we're gonna be, we're gonna be using these vents pretty liberally to make sure that the dust gets dealt with, dealt with right away. There is a big problem with this method, however, and that being the need to replenish the paper in here. Paper is not the quickest thing in the world to farm because you need sugarcane to grow. Create makes it a little bit easier um, because you can, um, let's see here. You can just press one sugar cane into one paper right away. But even still, sugar cane is not the fastest growing thing on the planet. Uh, I know we have immersive engineering garden cloches and, you know, as I said before, maybe we could have sugar cane in a greenhouse and maybe the carbon can make, can speed it up, but these uh these crushing wheels they they generate dust fairly quickly and i don't know if we are going to be able to have why in the world did it go over there that's fine i don't know if we're going to be able to generate one sugar cane at the rate that this generates eight dust so um I have come up with solutions, and I'm going to discuss those solutions right now, starting from my least favorite to what we're gonna go with. The first option, obviously, is to just brute force it and make a giant sugarcane farm. I don't know how big the sugarcane farm would have to be, but it would have to be quite massive, and I don't wanna do that. <laughs> I, I don't want to take up nine chunks or whatever just dedicated to sugarcane and then moving all of the sugarcane into a press just to keep up with how fast this thing makes dust so that's that is not that's not going to be an option we're not we're not doing that next thing i honestly think is probably the best and most efficient way to do it the cleanest way to do it but I don't want to do it because it's, I kind of feel like it's last resort because it's kind of, it's kind of busted. And uh, you'll, you will see what I mean. So if you are familiar, go away. I need to learn how to just stop that from happening. <laughs> but if you are familiar with Project E, this, uh, this little mod, this is, um, it's an alchemy mod, quote unquote, and it can get very, very overpowered very, very quickly. Um, but pretty much how it works, if you're not familiar with Project D, just basic, basic rundown, um, you'll see that a lot of these items have EMC values. You see, how, like this torch has an EMC value of nine, this wool has an EMC value of 48, and the basic gist of project e is you can you know it, it's all about equivalent exchange you can turn any item into any other item um as long as you have enough emc so for example if i wanted to make if, if i wanted a a block of white wool i could take these torches 
um, that have an EMC value of nine, I could exchange them. I could exchange six of them. So I'd have 54 EMC and I could turn six torches into a stack of what or into a block of white wool. It's pretty cool, but it's also not, <laughs> it, can, it, it can get out of hand very, very, very quickly. I'm talking like you can just, you can turn cobblestone into nether stars if, you know, it's, it, it can, it can get out of hand. And I don't want to go that route. The only reason that Project E is even in this pack is for this mod. Um, Avaritia or Avaritia for these for these singularities. That's that's the only reason that Project E is in here. If I can avoid using Project E in any other farms, I would like to. However, I do want to just go over it because it's a possibility that I might end up going with if things uh, if things reach DefCon, whatever the highest number is. So you can use. Um, an alchemical, no, you can use a, what's it called? Um, not an alchemical chest. It is a, um, energy condenser. And the way these work is you, energy condenser. Um, you put the item that you want in this slot up here and then any item that you put into the chest um, automatically gets its EMC value, gets its EMC extracted, and then it just gets turned into this paper, right? So for instance, a clay ball has an EMC of 16. If I put the clay in here, it becomes two pieces of paper. If there was, if there was another way, and I looked, I looked very, very hard. If there was a way to convert, uh, whoops, wrong thing. If there was a way, it like some sort of assembly line that I could do to turn paper, turn clay into paper, I would. And I looked very hard. I saw this sawdust. I'm like, okay. Can I can I make sawdust out of clay? Can I can I turn clay in, into paper? Can I, you know? And there's there's nothing. Um, the only way that you can make paper is sugarcane, weeping vines, sawdust, and this birch bark, um, and then sawdust, and then whatever this is. You can't turn clay into sugarcane or paper without. Project E. Um, I say that with 99% confidence, maybe there's something that I missed, and I hope there's something that I missed because that's what I would prefer to go with, but um, this is this is the best thing that I can do. And the only, I don't think this is too bad if I just say I'm not gonna use it, like if this is just one of the emergency circumstances, but I, I, I came up I came up with better solutions. This is I, I do think that this is probably the best and cleanest way to do it. Um, just have this hopper down here go into um, going in, into this energy condenser and then just pull out the paper into this hopper. It's doubly efficient. It's it's more efficient than we need it to be, but it's it's an option and if if I will do it if if there's nothing else that we can do. But thankfully, I did come up with other solutions. The solution that I would try to make work over Project E, and I, I think might be decent at the hit of efficiency, is just using redstone. You can hook up a comparator to these filters and they will send a full full signal, full, uh, full 15 blocks. Um, if there's no paper in it, then it turns off. And we could use this to um, put a. We, we could use this to to stop the the cobblestone generation somehow. I feel like it would be pretty complicated, but Create has these um, these clutches that allow you to just stop whatever uh, whatever machine is is going. Um, 
So we could do something to where like if there's no paper in here, then shut it down. Don't break any more cobblestone. We could set it up so like this crushing wheel can just finish whatever it's doing. Um, but we we could we could set that up and just hook it up to a uh, to a sugar cane farm. Um, create also has uh, what are they called? But it is a oh is it a stockpile? I think it is a, a stockpile switch. So they have these um, where you can you can set it to be like okay if it's as soon as um, as soon as it's at 22, you hook it up to a chest, and as soon as the chest is 22% full, um, stop. Just don't, you know, send a, turn the signal off or whatever, and then don't turn it back on until, um, until the chest reaches, like, 63 percent or something like that i love these i love create so much it's gonna be said in every in every episode but we could we could do a really really cool and really really complicated smart kind of system um you know at the cost of some iron because the machine is gonna not be running until we until we get paper um but i like this option i think it would be really really cool but there's one thing, there's one thing that I like better, and I think I'm gonna try to make this work instead. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the power of research. I have discovered what causes explosions. So I said before, or at least I think I, I said in, in the last episode, um, the threshold to cause an explosion is 20 pollutants. Thinking back, it might be that might be specific to dust. It might be different for carbon and sulfur, but it's definitely twenty dust um, all touching each other will cause an explosion. But how does it cause an explosion? Well, the torch. I was right. The reason that I keep dying is because I have a torch in my off hand, and I look at a block and I touch I touch the thing. So there are nineteen. Um, dust blocks in here. If I put one more, then this should explode as soon as I look down or crouch. Um, hold on, my research has lied to me. I'll just I'll just put a whole bunch. <laughs> I thought it was twenty. Maybe it was greater than or equal to twenty. But let's let's see. And and boom, there we go. So if I look down, um, that is what causes the explosion. Um, so that's that's good to know, and it's even better to know for one very, very, very important reason. So what we can do, if I just fill this with dust, we can go. safely away there's definitely more than 20 up here we can go up here you do not have to be holding the torch I hope you now see where we are going with this yes we are going to take advantage of the fact that dust floats down and we are going to underneath our base we're just going to send the dust we're we are just going to we're just going to send dust through and set up a system to just dispense a torch every now and again and we're just going to explode the dust we're just we're just going to we're just going to explode it um i feel like that is clearly the best way to deal with this problem explosions that's that that is what we are going to do i'm just trying to figure out how these dust blocks behave i'm 
pretty sure that they always just try to find the lowest point. Um, oh, maybe not. Hold on. Will this go? Yeah. It, it looks like it's it's just trying to go down, down here. So I don't think I need to do anything super crazy. Yeah, I think this is going to work out just fine. I think there's probably 20 down there. So if I throw this torch, whoops. So if I throw this torch, um, boom, no boom. There's supposed to be an earth shattering kaboom. Um, hmm. That might be an issue. I mean, we definitely, there's definitely 20 down here. There's no way. I've been I've been doing this for probably like five minutes or so. Weird. Um, but yeah, this this should work. And I mean, to be honest with you, like even if it doesn't explode, which I mean I feel like it has to at some point, this uh, I think this works out. Um, this works out pretty well. So I use the I got to use one of these chimneys here. Um, as far as I can tell, it doesn't really matter what you use. Um, there's no, there's no real difference in, in the chimneys that you can make. Um, so you can probably just make like a cobblestone chimney. And so it, uh, the dust gets sucks up, sucked up. Um, and then it goes up this chimney and because it's dust, it will eventually just fall down to, uh, its lowest point. All of the dust is going down there. Um, I would like to try to figure out a way. So observers can detect, um, they can detect the dust blocks. Um, so if, for, like you can see, come on. So they can detect um, when the dust um, goes in front of them and then goes down, which is super super good because that means we can automatically uh, we can automatically throw a torch. But I'm very curious as to why this is not exploding, because there most assuredly is a shitload down here. Um, maybe it's the I don't know. More more research will be required, but. We, at least we have definitely found um, something that we can do to handle all of all of this dust. Even if we have to go all the way down to bedrock to, to deal with this. Um, oh, okay, that exploded. Maybe I have to crouch on it? I don't know. Um, this, of course, has the added benefit <laughs> of uh, creating sulfur um and carbon which is very good um which i actually just realized might cause an issue i might have to i might have to build vents on top of this to deal with the sulfur and carbon and let them go into the atmosphere but um i like this i think this is this is pretty neat oh if it just goes straight down that way the observer's not going to see it Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm going back to survival and uh, I'm going to start digging. Okay, well, interesting development. Um, I'm starting to make this look nice. I went ahead and I I hooked up the um, all of the create nonsense and rotational force and, and all that. I, I just... <sighs> I I was recording like trying to figure out how to put it all together but oh yeah it's it's snowing here now which I guess uh I guess I added a seasons mod in here which is annoying I I don't like the snow <laughs> I I wish it would go away um 
I hope. I wonder if it's if it's a pollution thing. I don't know. It's so we're getting a lot of snow now, but uh, that's not one of the developments. I was I was recording myself like trying to figure out how to how to get the the power up and get everything hooked up, but it was very it was very rambly and it wasn't very good footage. So I just kind of I just kind of hooked it all up. Like <laughs> it's. It's really cool and I love it, but I don't know if, oh. Oh. Hmm. Well, this is gonna be an issue. Um, I can fix that in a second. Um, uh, but yeah, we, we've got, uh, we got the shafts going all the way up. Um, everything's, everything's connected and, yeah. <laughs> um, so it's, it's all working. It's, it's all working, it's all working. Uh, it's all working well and, and it's all good, but, um, two things that I didn't really consider, um, first being, well, I can, t can turn this on. Oh, actually, no, no, no. First, I'm going to show you my favorite thing in Create. This is, uh, this is the last little, uh, the Coupe de Gracie or whatever it's called. So... My favorite thing in Create, and I mean it this time. Th this is actually like my favorite thing <laughs> in Create. These these redstone links are incredible, um, and, and if you don't know what they do, it's it's wireless redstone essentially. So if I put one here, and I put the other one on this clutch back here, um, and set this to receive mode. And I want to, I'll just put like double cobblestone in as the, the frequencies. So they get linked up to each other. Now, whenever this receives power, this link receives power. And uh, I have it hooked up to this clutch, which will, uh, which will stop this nonsense from from happening up here. Whoops, hold on. So this clutch, um, if it receives power, it will stop all of the rotational force from coming up here. And this is just, uh, this is just what uh, what activates the drills and all that. It's very, very important for us to be able to turn this off for, uh, for something that I probably should have foreseen, but did not foresee. So let me, oh, damn it. Yeah, well, I'm gonna have to jump back up here. But if I get this rolling again, you'll, uh, you'll hear the the drills going, and we've got the we've got the cobblestone going. But as you can see, <laughs> uh, that is that is a lot. That is a lot of of pollution. That <laughs> that. Uh, yeah, this is this is pretty nuts. So uh, before I forget, we'll just if I just put this lever here, this will be the on-off switch for the uh, the cobblestone generator. So if I just turn this on, activate that, it'll activate the clutch, and then it'll uh, it'll stop. But yeah, that's that's a lot of pollution. <laughs> it's that is more pollution than. Than, than I expected. That's definitely more pollution than um, than those things were making for sure. And it's also pretty bad now that it's snowing because what happens is the snow gathers on the grass down here and the carbon just kind of builds up and doesn't have anywhere to go. So things get really bad. That timing was Perfect. Holy shit. But yeah, so <laughs> this is what happens when there's too much carbon in the air. Uh, we have, we get a blindness effect. I, I need to, I need to gather myself. That timing was actually perfect. I didn't, I didn't cut anything. That's, that's freaky. But yeah, so if we're, if we're in this chunk, um, we get a blindness effect and we can see that there is 8% carbon in the air and 6% sulfur, um, which isn't good. I, I, I built this little, uh, I craft this little aerometer. 
So when we leave, it's 4% and 6%, which I guess is I guess is chill, but if we go into into this chunk here, we it uh, it gets worse. I don't know what the exact number is, but I guess 9% is I guess 9% is is not good. Now that we're out of that chunk, we should be okay. Yeah. So, uh, how do we deal with that problem? Well, I made this I made this respirator mask. <laughs> so now I can come in here and now we're we're chilling. Um, and this actually is is this is doing okay. Yeah, it's it's not going up yet. But if we take this off, we're we're blinded. Yeah. So I mean, this is what I wanted. Like, I can't lie. This is this is definitely that's what I wanted. Um, and you know, as uh, as as things get more polluted, things get worse. Like, we'll walk in here and we'll get poisoned, and it's hilarious and it's great. Um, but the thing that I didn't really anticipate was, um, oh, jeez. <laughs> so I dug the hole down here. Um, for all the dust to go and the crushing wheels are not making dust interestingly enough um, I don't know if it's just when something is just stuck in the crushing wheel but yeah if if I just if I get this get this thing running um, which, by the way, we've got we've got our flint going in here, and we have an iron ingot. Very good, super crazy efficient. Um, but yeah, we we see the pollution going up. That's 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 a hefty amount. Um, yeah, we got the ink. We got we got the nuggets going in here. Look at that! Look at that! We've got a we've got a farm. There's another one. Sweet. So we we have our iron. We 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 have our iron farm going. And yeah, we're not. To, there's. I don't know if the cobblestone just isn't in there long enough to generate any dust. But aha, there we go. I'm a fool, as it turns out. Oh wait, I need to. I didn't. Yeah, so this this should be okay now. If it, I should just drop down. Yeah, perfect. I don't know how difficult that is to see um, with the snow going. I can actually, I can actually sleep. Can you uh, can you go down there? I forgot to I forgot to just make the the shoot right. If I if I just like put some blocks down and just have it guide it so it goes down there, but yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good. Let me sleep and get rid of this snow. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's fantastic. <laughs> um, I don't have my vacuum on me. Can I uh, can I coax you, sir, to go down into uh, into this hole? by any chance there you go um so yeah it does make dust i uh i i am a buffoon it turns out but yeah this is this is this is this is this is kind of ridiculous um <laughs> we're already at 20 percent, 19 percent. it's uh it's not good i wonder how bad it is if i take off my mask Oh, it's fine. Wait, yeah, there we go. Interesting. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to. I'll have to see. But yeah, yeah, that's. It's done. <laughs> it's we. We 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 got the we got the iron park. Look at that, three iron ingots. Let's let's go. So, um, so this is, it's, it's done. It, it makes, it makes iron and, oh my God, is that, is that a smog effect? Is 
So if we're that, I don't remember this the last time I played, but yeah, you, like, look, it's, whoa. Huh. All right, well, we're gonna, we're gonna turn this off. <laughs> look at the smog. That's, that's crazy. This mod is nuts. Um, so yeah, I don't, I got to figure out what to do about, about that. If, uh, if anything at all, cause that's, that's pretty bad, but, um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I guess we'll, uh, we gotta, maybe we gotta do something with filters to prevent that from happening. Oh, I can't eat with my mask on. Interesting. I guess that makes sense. Uh, but the, uh, the iron generators, damn it. Oh, I have mining fatigue too? Get me out of here. Oh, geez. Oh, <laughs> cough. <laughs> okay, that's, that's pretty awful. Um, but yeah, we've, uh, we've, <laughs> we've, we've got, oh, geez, that is, that is laughably bad. But I love it all the same. And I mean, it, look, it, it looks pretty cool too. I mean, I'm gonna fix, I'm gonna replace the the cobblestone with something else and make this look a little bit more respectable. But here it is. Here, here she is. My, uh, my, my iron farm. <laughs> anyway, whoa. What's up? <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna end the episode here. Next episode, we'll, um, I guess, try to work out, uh, I'll, try, I'll try to figure out what to do about this. I wonder if, if I go up there, if I can just explode all that gas. Um, that might be something we do, but anyway, until next time, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Later.